Today we're going to show you guys how to install the electronic security chip or the ILID for wood instruments. Uh, so when you unpackage your package here, you're going to pull it out and there's all kinds of goodies in there. Um, the actual microchip itself is in the envelope. Um, for the wood instruments, it's uh, very thin, so sometimes it can be hard to, to see in there. Just pull it out and there you have it. Now the actual microchip itself is in impregnated in this uh, sticker. So what you're going to do is peel the sticker off. Uh, this is much easier to do without these strings on the guitar. For acoustic guitars, we try to hide the sticker up in this section of the guitar. So stick your hand way up in there and stick it on the side of the guitar and you're done. It's that easy. Okay, now for electric guitars, uh, there's various Places that you can actually put these chips. Uh, one of the best places is actually in the either in the neck pocket or on the neck itself. So that's one place to do it. The other place to do it is in non-shielded uh, cavity covers. So for instance, this is the back plate of a Stratocaster. You could stick it right there and put it back on the guitar and it'll be hidden from view. Okay, for uh, the electronic microchip uh, attachment, you want to first find your envelope and carefully remove the microchip because it's pretty small. Um, if you drop it, you might not find it. <laughs> so go ahead and lay that down. And what you want to do is, like a, we're taking a flute body, for instance. Uh, you don't want to completely cover up the, the microchip with metal. So a good spot to put them is up on what's called the ribbing of the flute, which is this long kind of space right here. So what you do is you mix up a two-part high-strength epoxy, okay? and it doesn't take very much. Just put a little dot of one, make a little dot of the other, same size. And you want to mix those guys together. Let me sit for a second while you put your lids on. And then you basically want to take the bottom of the chip, which is the side that doesn't have the marking, and you're going to put some glue on it. And then you would attach it underneath the ribbing. Try not to get epoxy everywhere. And leave it sit for five minutes. Try to leave it so that it doesn't tip over like that and you have a microchip attached. Okay, now for repair shop installation, uh, you, you have the ability to actually do this as even a more permanent repair. Uh, what I've done here is I've taken a finger button and removed the pearl, took the two-part epoxy, added some uh, of this embossing powder, which is a pearlish embossing powder, and purposely left it kind of translucent so that you could actually see the microchip underneath that. But you could use a solid color embossing powder, such as this one right here, which would give the finger button kind of a slick look. Uh, they've got solid colors, uh, just all kinds of stuff, and you can actually hide that chip permanently. Uh, another thing that I did uh, was take a ring, soldered it to this saxophone neck, and glued the chip in there and uh, epoxied all around it to create a permanent uh, housing for the microchip. So there's all kinds of options. Be creative. Uh, the microchips are pretty durable for the metal instruments, so there's not much chance that you'll kill it unless you catch it on fire. 